What's up, Diabetes family? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash head video. Now today, I made something really special for each and every one of you. Now, this is just a spin-off of what I did last year. I made a jerk jackfruit last year, and I'm telling you, it was amazing, but, I knew I could do a better job at it. I wasn't really happy with the way it came out. I'm gonna be honest. I was just not happy with the way it came out. So I went to the archives, I studied, and I looked at what I did wrong, and I came up with a better solution. This is the Jamaican Jerk Jackfruit Remix. Remix! <laughs> I'm just playing. But this is the remix of what I did before. Now, these are the photos that I had before. I love this recipe. I, I, like, I like it because it is one of those recipes that you can cook on a hot sunny day. It is a hot sunny day in California, yay, yay. Just playing. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it, was, it was a nice, warm, 80 degree day today. So I decided to make Jamaican jerk jackfruit. And on top of that, I made some chili lime plantains, also with some coconut lime quinoa to go with it. Now this is the perfect Caribbean meal for a nice warm day. So for my Caribbean brothers and sisters, I hope I did you guys justice. You feel me? But anyways, we're gonna get onto the show. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy the ride and I'll see you on the other side. Holla at ya boy. Roll the intro. Okay, Diabetes family, welcome back to another edition of Diabetes Kitchen. So as you see is the fresh ingredients that we're about to use today. We have the cilantro, we have the green onions, we have the red onions, we have the plantains, we have the scotch bonnets, we have the garlic, lime, and these are just the few ingredients that we are going to use for this particular recipe. Now, what we're gonna do first is we are going to do the jerk sauce. And with that jerk sauce, we're gonna have four Scotch bonnet peppers. And we're going to add it to our, if you have a blender or if you have a food processor, it works just as good. And then we're going to add three elephant garlic cloves. And then we're going to add our thyme. Um, preferably just do six or seven stalks of thyme. And then we're going to add our pepper, our black pepper. We're going to add our nutmeg, which is two tablespoons. We're going to add our ginger, our freshly minced ginger. Now we're gonna add our pimento seeds, our brown sugar, this is going to balance out the heat from the scotch bonnet peppers. So brown sugar is a must for this recipe. And then we're going to add our Himalayan sea salt with our soy sauce. And then we're going to add our vinegar. We're going to squeeze two halves of limes in this as well. If you wanna do one, that is fine. And then we're going to add one whole medium sized red onion to the blender. And then we're going to cut up seven stalks of green onions.
And last but not least, we're going to add two tablespoons of oil. Now that we got all the ingredients inside the container, we are going to put the top on, set the blender. I set it to puree, but you can just set it to blend. And just blend it for about a minute, minute and a half. And ladies and gentlemen, this kitchen, after cutting everything up and adding all the spices together and blending it, it's smelling so good right now. And this is what I mean about cooking with fresh ingredients like your food comes out so much better so now that we're done with the blending I'm gonna do a quick taste test just to see how a smell and a taste test just to see how ya boy did and I am liking what I am tasting so we're gonna put the top on and put it in the fridge and put it to the side. So now we're going to start our coconut lime quinoa. So I'm doing two cups of quinoa. Now this process is really easy. All you have to do is just put the quinoa in your Instapot if you have one. I will leave the link below or where you can get an Instapot if you haven't got one already. But if you do have one, we're just going to squeeze about two limes into our measuring cup. And then we're going to add our coconut milk. That's it. So two cups of quinoa, three and a half cups of lime and coconut milk so once we add all of those ingredients we're going to put the top on set our settings and we are ready for the next step and that's the jackfruit so what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much take the seeds out um, and we're going to drain the jackfruit rinse it really well and then we're going to put whatever we pulled apart inside a bowl just a separate bowl. So once we do that, we're gonna make sure that we shred everything. Once everything is nicely shredded, we're going to add just a little bit of our jerk sauce in there and give it a nice mix. Now, if you want to just do this the night before and let it marinate into the jerk sauce, I would highly recommend it. But if you just want something on the go and real quick, just add the sauce to the jackfruit and just give it a mix so now we're just going to add it to our frying pan and the reason why we're doing this is we're giving it a little bit of character we're giving it a little bit of texture before we add it to our baking pan and put it into the oven so since so now that we have our baking pan we're just going to spread everything in around you know, just make sure it's nicely spaced out and airy. You know, you want to get rid of all the all the clumps. So last year I made the mistake of just um, seasoning the clumps of the jackfruit. So now this time I'm just breaking it, breaking it up, moving it around, and then I'm going to add just a little bit more of the sauce on top. And then once I add the sauce on top, I'm going to give it a nice mix around and repeat the same step as far as moving things around, making sure everything is nice and spread out and it cooks evenly. We are gonna put the oven to 400 and cook this for 15 minutes. While that's cooking, our quinoa is done. So I'm going to add some freshly cut cilantro just to give this quinoa some character you know make it look good and not only is it going to look good it's going to taste amazing so now that i have everything inside i'm just going to give it a nice mix and what i didn't feel myself doing was adding lime shavings like the skin from the lime now i did feel myself squeezing fresh juice lime juice in the container just like this 
but I just didn't feel myself with the shavings. I don't know why. But we're going to do one whole line inside here, and then we're going to repeat the process of mixing it. Now for the finale, we are going to do our fried plantains. Now, I don't know if any of you guys ever had plantains before, but if you haven't, I suggest you go to the store and get you some and try this recipe. Now, I made diagonal cuts um, in the plantains, and I'm going to add it to just a separate bowl. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to be pre-seasoning this before I put it into the cast iron skillet. Now I'm going to put two tablespoons of avocado oil. Now you can use any type of oil you want, but I'm using avocado oil. And then I'm going to lightly dust these with chili lime seasoning. And then all I'm going to do now is it's just two ingredients. I'm just going to move it all around, make sure the plantains and the chili lime seasoning is nicely coated together. Now, as those sit there just like that, I'm going to add the oil to my pan and then I'm going to start cooking my plantains. And look how gorgeous that looks. The colors are just amazing. So now that my skillet is hot, I'm just going to add a few at a time and I'm going to cook these for about 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute on each side. And once we do that, we are all done. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the color on these plantains is giving us a nice golden brown with the char on the end. And just to polish it off, I'm going to add a little bit more while it's hot, chili lime seasoning, and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Look how beautiful this plate looks with the plantains and the jerk jackfruit and the coconut lime quinoa. Now, I just want to take the time and thank each and every one of you for watching this, ladies and gentlemen. That means a lot to me. And make sure you follow me on all of my social medias. And stay tuned for my final thought. Holla at ya, boy. Peace. Welcome back, Diabetes family. Welcome back, baby. Now, wasn't that video amazing? <laughs> so, as you can see, I did the Jamaican jerk jackfruit. I also did the chili lime uh, plantains. I also did the coconut lime quinoa. So, let's go ahead and go into the taste test, see how your boy did. Look at that plate, bam, bam, oh my God. You guys, this smells so good. And it's just, everything was made with fresh ingredients and I am a big proponent of fresh ingredients. It just makes your dishes taste so much better. So, I'm gonna start off with the plantains. My God, that I'm telling you guys, y'all need to y'all need to try this. Seriously, this needs to be on on the list of things to make. Let me hit this jackfruit up real quick with the jerk sauce. The jerk sauce. Look at that. Woo! Scotch, I can taste the scotch bond and pepper, but it's like, since I took the, the seeds out of it, my God, it's just a hint of heat, but you just taste everything with, with the sweetness from the brown sugar, the soy sauce, like everything just comes together and you can also taste the thyme in it. This is so good, so delicious guys. 
Now let me go ahead and try the coconut lime quinoa. Yo, y'all need to try this recipe today. Today. This recipe is amazing. I think I did a better job this time than I did on my last video. On the last video I did. Um, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and smash on this food real quick. What I wanted to say is if you eat good, you live good, and you feel good. And don't forget, to tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Holla at ya, boy. Peace.